Damascus steel was not just a blade, it was a legend. Forged in the Middle East as early as the 3rd century, these swords were said to slice through lesser weapons, cut cleanly through armor, and bend almost in half without snapping. They combined elegance and brutality. Their signature swirling patterns flowing like smoke or water across the surface were not for decoration. They were the fingerprint of a forging process so advanced. No one today can fully replicate it. Crafted from high-carbon woots, steel, likely imported from India, the metal was heated, folded, and hammered in ways lost to time. What made it special may have been the impurities left in, not removed. These impurities formed bands of carbides that gave the blade its strength, an iconic look. Yet for all its glory, the exact method vanished. By the 18th century, the technique had disappeared completely, taking centuries of knowledge with it. So what was truly lost? A technique, a material, or a way of thinking? Damascus steel remains a mystery, sharper than its edge.